so welcome to flare trucking welcome to the flare experience and uh, for this interview we'll leave you anonymous okay and um yeah i love your shows though i love i love your youtubes thank you thank you um a lot of people you know they say i need to stick with trucking and i don't just want to stick with trucking and i don't understand <clears throat> why people can't get that through their heads you know i just don't want to talk about trucking trucking it it gets boring after a while just strictly talking talk about, about trucking. So much. right so i you know i try to mix it up dibble and dab that's why i call it the flare experience you know what i mean yeah yeah, I, mean, I love it. I mean, I like it that you mix it up, that you talk about this, you talk about that. Right. You know, it's like the lot lizard. Yeah. Uh, I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. yeah. You ever had an experience with any lot lizards? I did when I was working at the gas stations, when uh, I was doing my security for the gas station. Uh huh. I had to run a few of them off, and they were by far not pretty at all. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, they went hard, put it wet more than once. Good lord. So yeah. So 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 so, so what what what's the new name that they should be called instead of lot lizards? What should they be called? I think that's the perfect name for them. That's the perfect I, name. I, I, it's the it's perfect no way name around it. It's no way around it. <laughs> There's not. You can't come up with any other name. Lot lizards is about, about as good as it's gonna get. I know, right? Yeah, and because that's what they look like. Throughout the it's parking exactly. lot, that's what they look like. Lizards going from there to here to there. <laughs> mm. Yeah. yeah. Hey, but hey, I guess everybody's got to make a list somehow or another. That's right. That's right. But what I wanted to talk with you about was, you know, I know you used to be a personal trainer. And, you know, I see a lot of these guys in the trucks and stuff like that and everything. And it just seemed like weight wise it's getting ridiculous out here like i saw a truck driver the other day he was every bit of i know 600 pounds had to be oh, and wow. i was trying to figure out like how in the hell are you getting in and out of your truck and and doing the things that you need to do just throughout your day and he was smoking oh, sure cigarettes oh yeah i'm sure he's struggling probably really bad right right and so, but you know, I saw also been seeing, you know, like uh, a lot of the other truck drivers, you know, they been walking around like real buff, like, and I'm like, yeah. dude, when do you have the time to go in the gym that much, you know, in order to get that buff? Yeah. You know? Well, I mean, some so. of them, I mean, and I mean, that's not all of them. Some of them are natural. Um, as far as gene wise but then you got the ones who, who do do steroids right and that i mean and they may be local they may they may travel locally and not you know yeah out of state or that so they could probably get to the gym a lot right but yeah it, it I've, seen, I've seen i've seen a few of truckers i mean you know get my head looked in a second time and like you know you look good right and right so it's it, it, it's it, it's not all natural some of it i mean yeah maybe but not all of it's natural right right i don't care what they say it's not all natural right so your your experience when when you were you know training and stuff like that or whatever your experience with or running should i say with steroids how how did it affect your life um I mean, I got the results that I wanted out of it, but long term, it, I mean, it, it did end up affecting me. I mean, sort of having certain issues, you know, you break out with acne, you know, my voice did start getting a little deeper. Right. Because it does change a woman's um, hormones, voice yeah. and hormones and stuff like that. So, right. And then, you know, you got other body parts that... You know, when you add steroids and you're taking something that a man should be taking, mm -hmm. you know, it causes other problems, uh, other uh, elsewhere. So, 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 um, what, what, what got you into it? Like, what made you say one day when you woke up, you say, "Hey, I want to try this out." I wasn't getting the results I wanted. Uh, I wanted, I wanted to look good. I wanted to lean out. I wanted to, I wanted not to be manly looking, but I wanted to, I wanted to look good. I wanted to be cut and have that definition. Right. And I'm like, and all it took was me asking the right persons and, and saying, I know I was, <clears throat> I was getting it and paying for it and 
you know, doing it. And I mean, it did get it did get my temper bad, even though I already have a bad temper. Right. But it just made my temper worse. That was that was my next question. It definitely affects your temper for sure. Right. And most people want to know because you know you hear it a lot with the guys. They say it affects their you know their their sexual parts. You know, either they can't get hard or they can't get it up. Or some say that they they go in, into overdrive, like they can't get enough. I've, I dated someone who, who did steroids and it was, he couldn't get enough. Right. I mean, he, he, he wasn't well endowed or nothing like that, but, um, but he just, he could never get enough. Right. I mean, it was, he always had to have it. Hmm. So it's, I mean, it definitely messes with your, with your, your sex drive bad. I mean, as far as the growing part, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Right. That affects a man from, you know, but, or if it keeps him from getting hard. But, I mean, I know the, the, the men that I've talked to or even friends of mine that, that do run it have said that it increases their sex drive. Right. I've never had one, one guy say, you know, I couldn't get it up or, you know. And Nothing you could, like and you could, and you could actually tell the difference in between when he was on it and when he wasn't on it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you can definitely tell a difference. Cause wow. Not only the temper changes, but their sex drive drops dramatically. Right. You see, because I mean, you're supposed to, you're supposed to run it. Some people run it for six months. Some people run it all, all the time and never come off of it. Right. But you're only supposed to run it for so long, and then you know, let your body recoup. And, you know, wean yourself off of it after so, a while. So, so how does it work? Like, like, do you got a certain amount of doses that you're supposed to take or? Yeah. You have a certain dosage depending on what you're running. Like I said, some some men or some women run, I, mean, I was running two and three things at a time sometimes. Uh-huh. Um, some men, they run five, six, seven, nine things at a time. And it just depends Dang. on what you're running and how many cc's. Right. You're you're wanting to how fast you're wanting those uh results. Results. Right. Man, that is wild. And it's expensive. It is not cheap by any means. Right. So so nowadays I know most most of the women or the guys they're just going out and having the surgery done or yes. whatnot and and I think the surgery is kind of taking over. Um do you think that a lot of them are still using or has the surgery kind of outweighed it and they're just saying well i'll just go straight for the for the gusto and go with the surgery i think they're going i think they're still doing both i mean they're getting the gusto with the surgery and then they're you know adding steroids on top of it because they because they don't want to lose your results right and after a while after you I mean you come off of it your buddy your buddy your body has muscle memory, so it's going to remember the, you know, if you lose a bunch of weight or whatever. Uh-huh. But I think that if they want to keep everything like it is, I think they're still doing both between the surgery and doing the steroid. Right, right. So, so does this stuff make you sick, or does it does it mess with your like your bowel movements? Does it, you know, stuff like that? For a woman, no, it doesn't. For a woman, it messes with her, her um her cycle like there were times that I, I wouldn't have a cycle for six seven months right so i mean it messes with a woman's cycle but no it did i mean it never messed with my bowels or anything like that shoot and I've some in, in some women's eyes that'll be a plus yeah they will love I know that it wasn't mine. i loved it right right that's what i was saying I loved it. right Great, that was always a plus, but yeah, I mean, you never, I, I've never, I mean, like I said, as many people as I know that do it, never, I mean, and you know who, you know, who does it, so you can just randomly talk about it and stuff, and I've never had anybody tell me that it messed with their stomach or their bowels. Now, I've had people say that they've had a reaction to it, and they couldn't take it anymore because their body reacted different than what, you know, somebody else normally would. Right. So they just had to stop taking it. Right. So, I mean, you do have, you know, good results and bad results. Sometimes your body just says, no, I can't take this. That's right. And we'll so, reject it. So can you go in the gym and, and look at someone and say, they run? Oh, yeah, pretty much. Okay. A lot of times you can tell by the acne. 
um, because a lot of because it does cause acne. I don't care what anybody says, it causes acne, whether it be on your face, your back, I mean, on your legs. I mean, it, it causes acne. It doesn't matter what you run, it, it, it's going to cause you to have some some sort of form of acne. Right. And you can, and I say you can tell, I can tell, it's, and I, because a lot of times, if you notice, a lot of men, they just want to work their upper body. They can't get their legs to grow. Right. So a lot of people work their upper body, which, I mean, you look retarded because you only work in your upper body. But, right. I mean, you got to, you got to look at even if, if not, you know, people, people are going to tell. A lot of people can tell. They just, you know, it's that day and age. Just nobody says anything anymore. Right, right. I definitely appreciate this interview and I appreciate the conversation as always. And it was I want to pleasure always. Right. And I want to thank you for coming over to Flair Trucking and giving your side and your view of things on what you, what you thought about, you know, steroid usage and things of that nature. So, thanks for the Flair experience and you have a great one, okay? Thank you very much you too. Thank you.